Thrice the brinded cat hath meowed. Thrice and once the hedge pig whined. The harpier cries, tis time, tis time. Round about the cauldron go, in the poison entrail throw. Toad that under stone cold days and nights has thirty one sweltered then and sleeping got. Boiled out first in the charmed pot. Double, double, toil and trouble, fire burn, cauldron bubble. The lay of a fenny snake, in the cauldron boil and bake. Eye of meat and toe of frog, wool of bat and tongue of dog, adder's fork and blind man's skin, lizard's leg and owl's wing, for a charm of powerful trouble, like a hell broth, boil and bubble. Double, double, toil and trouble, fire burn and cauldron bubble. Scale a dragon, deal the wolf, which is mummy, log, gold, of the ring. Salt sea shark, root of hemlocks, digged in the dark. <laughs> Liver of blaspheming Jew, call a goat and slips of you. Silvered in the moon's eclipse, there's a turk and tart. His lips finger up the strangled babe. Ditch to live by a dram, make the gore thick and slab. Add that to a tiger's touch for the ingredients of our cauldron. Double, double, toil and shovel, fire burning, cauldron bubble. Cool it with the baboon's blood, then the charm is firm and good. Well done! I commend your pains, and everyone shall share in the games. And now about the cauldron sing, like elves and fairies in a ring. Enchanting all that you put in. By the pricking of my thumbs, something wicked this way comes. Open locks, whoever knocks. How now, you secret, black and midnight hags? What is you do? <laughs> the deed without a name. I conjure you, by that which you profess. How are you came to know it? Answer me. Though you untie the winds and let them fight against the churches. Though the zesty waves confound and swallow navigation up. Though bladed corn be lodged and trees blown down. Though castles topple on their warders' heads. Though palaces and pyramids do slope their heads to their foundations. Though the treasure of nature's Germans tumble all together, even till destruction sicken. Answer me to what I ask you. Speak. Demand. Say if thou threat it here from our mouths or from our masters. Oh, let me see him. Pour in sow's blood, the heavy in her ninth barrel. Grief that sweeten from the murderer's gibbet, throw into the flame. Come, high or low, thyself an office deftly show. What is this? An armed head? Tell me, thou unknown power. He knows thy thought. Hear his speech. Say thou not. Macbeth, Macbeth, Macbeth. Beware the duck, beware the fame of fire. Dismiss me, enough. Whatever well, thou art, for thy good caution and thanks, thou hast harped my fear aright. But one word more. <laughs> she will not be commanded. He has another more potent than the fight. Stop, you bloody child! Had I three years, I'd hear thee. Be bloody and old and resolute. Laugh to scorn the power of man. For none of woman born shall harm Macbeth. Then live, Macduff. What need I fear of thee? Yet I'll make a sure and stubble sure, and take a fond of faith. Thou shalt not live, that I may tell pale-hearted fear and lies, and sweep in spite of thunder. What is this that rises like the issue of a king, and where is upon his baby brow the round and top of sovereignty? Listen, but speak not to it. Be lying, metals proud, and take no care. Who changes to threats, or where conspires all? Macbeth shall never vanquished be, until great Burnham, one to hide on Sinning Hill, shall come against him. 
That will never be. Who can impress the forest? Bid the tree unfix his earthbound root. Sweet Bozeman's good. Rebellion's head, rise never till the wood of Burnham rise. And our high place, Macbeth, shall live the least of nature. Pay his breath to time and mortal custom. Yet, my heart throbs to know one thing. Tell me if your art can tell so much. Shall Banquo's issue ever reign in this kingdom? To know no more. I will be satisfied. Deny me this, and an eternal curse fall on you. Let me know. Why sinks that cauldron? And what noise is this? So! <laughs> so! Show his eyes and breathe his heart. Come like shadows. So, depart! <laughs> Thou art too like the spirit of Banquo. Down! Thy crown does sear my eyeballs. And thy hair, thou other gold-bound brow, is like the first. A third is like the former. Filthy hags, why do you show me this? A fourth, start eyes. What, will the line stretch out to the crack of doom? Another yet, a seventh. I'll see no more, and yet the eighth appears, who bears a glass which shows me many more. And some I see that twofold fall the trouble scepters carry. Horrible sight. Now I see, tis true, for the blood bulbered Banquo smiles upon me, and points at them for his. What? Is this so? Aye, sir, all this is so. But why stands Macbeth thus amazedly? Come, sisters, cheer we up his sprite, and show the best of our delights. I'll charm the air to give a sound, while you perform your antic round. It is great king may kindly say, our duty did his welcome pay. Where are they? Gone? Let this pernicious hour stand I accursed in the calendar. Come in without there. What's your grace's will? Saw you the weird sisters. No, my lord. Came they not by you? No, indeed, my lord. Infected be the air whereon they ride, and damned are those that trust them. I did hear the galloping of horse. Who was it came by? Tis two or three, my lord, that bring you word Macduff is fled to England. Fled to England? I, my good lord. Time, thou anticipatest my dread exploits. The flighty purpose never is overtook unless the deed go with it. From this moment, the very first wings of my heart shall be the first wings of my hand. And even now, to crown my thoughts with acts, be it thought and done. The castle of Macduff I will surprise, seize upon the fight, give to the edge of the sword his wife, his babes, and all unfortunate souls that trace him in his mind. No boasting like a fool, this deed I'll do before this purpose cruel. But no more sights. Where are these gentlemen? Come. Bring me where they are. <laughs>